Hello friends, welcome to your sensual morning yoga practice. Start in a seated position with your hands on your knees. We'll begin breathing deeply, bring the hands up to the belly. Allow the belly to expand into your hands as you inhale and feel the belly contract fully as you exhale. Now bring the hands up to the rib cage and breathe deeply expanding the belly and the ribs and contracting fully. Deep, full breaths, allowing yourself to settle in. Now let's bring the hands up to the chest, turning this into a three-part breath into the belly, the ribs, and the chest. And release from the chest, the ribs, and the belly. Now release your hands down onto your thighs and slide your hands up and down your thighs and your shins, noticing how this feels beautiful touch. Now reach the right fingertips out to the side, stretch the left arm up and over, nice side stretch and release down. Take the right fingers up and over, sort of brushing the side body and the side of the head as you stretch each arm up. Take one more stretch on each side. Nice juicy stretch and then release down and we'll twist now. Take the left fingertips to the right knee, twisting, looking behind you and then switch sides. So not a deep hold yet. Switching sides again just for one deep breath. Switch to the other side. One breath. Coming back to center now, take the feet flat onto the floor, nice and wide, and windshield wiper the knees back and forth, starting to warm into the lower half of the body. Good. Stretching the legs, getting the blood flowing. If you want this time, reach the arm up, extend the leg. Good. Reaching and stretching back as you come up to one side. Imagine sending energy out through the fingertips as you reach and stretch, and energy out through the toes. Good, let's release back down to center now. Bring the soles of the feet together here to bound angle. We're gonna pulse the knees here up and down, and this simple movement actually opens an energy channel all the way up your spine that can help ignite your sexual energy. Keep pulsing, moving energy through the body here and bringing awareness into the pelvic floor area. Okay, let's release, zip the knees up here and then come forward onto hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips here. Let's shift the hips side to side, getting a nice stretch into the glutes, the outer thighs, the hips. And then circle the hips around, moving slowly in one direction, curving and arching the spine, moving the head, taking whatever movement feels really good to you. Let's go in the opposite direction now. And then sit the hips back onto the heels in child's pose. Relaxing and letting go here. Move the head, the forehead side to side, massaging it. Back and forth and then lift up onto the fingertips. Walk the hands out, getting a nice stretch into the shoulders and shift the shoulders side to side, stretching the shoulders and into the back. Good, release, roll yourself up. And from here, take the right hand up, extend it, and then 
thread it under the left arm, release the ear and the head down onto the floor, coming into a nice twist, spinal twist. Breathe deeply. Slowly unwind, stretch the arm up and then back to center. Inhale the left arm up and exhale, thread it under the other arm, releasing down to the floor. Take your breath into the twist here, allowing the breath to open you up. Good. Settle in. Slowly unwind, coming back up to center. Sit back onto the heels, take the knees wide, and then massage the thighs with your hands. Slowly, sensually moving the hands up and down, and then circle around. Taking the body around slowly, arching and rounding the back, moving the head, just like what we did on the floor. This is just another variation, helping to open up, warm up the body. Good. Stretching the neck as you move. From here, Rise up onto the knees, take the arms up overhead, palms touch, exhale, slide the hands down the face, neck and chest to heart center. Inhale, slowly rise up, look up, exhale the hands, slide down your body. One more time, inhale, reach up, look up, stretch up. Exhale, lower down. From here, bring the hands forward on the floor. Curl the toes under and lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Pedal each heel back and forth, opening up the backs of the legs. Press all four corners of your hands evenly into the floor. Make sure the fingers are spread nice and wide. And use your arm strength to push the hips back. Shift the hips side to side, getting a little bit of stretch into the side body as well here. Good, breathe. And then bend and straighten the legs, circling the hips now. Nice, big, juicy circles. Moving in the opposite direction now. Using the arm strength still to push the hips back. Long spine. And then walk the feet up to the hands and fold over the legs in a forward bend. You can shift side to side of the torso if you like or just hang statically. This is such a great release for the back. Cross at the elbows now, dangle and sway side to side if that feels good for you. Good, continuing to open the backs of the legs as well. And then slowly roll yourself up, sliding the hands up the legs, up the body, reach the hands up. And then exhale, cactus the arms and slide your hands all the way down the body, down the bum, down the backs of the legs into forward bend. Inhale, slide the hands up the legs, front of the body, up over the face, reach up. Exhale again, cactus the arms and then slide your hands down the back side of the body into forward bend. One more time, slide the hands up as you inhale, stretch overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms, slide the hands down your body. Forward bend. Let's come up halfway with the flat back now. Open the left arm up to the ceiling and then circle the arm around 
opening the shoulder here look up as you circle it good we're bending into the right knee here switch sides so bending into the left knee open the right arm circle it up down and around taking your gaze up as the arm comes up good release now Step it back into Downward Facing Dog. Extend the right leg up and back behind you and then bend, circle the knee around, extending the leg and bending it. Good. Stretching, sending energy through the body here. And then step the leg forward between the hands and rise up. Take a moment here, bend the back knee, tuck the tailbone under, creating length through the low back, and then extend the leg straight. Take the arms out in front of you now and glide your fingers over the left arm, the inside of the arm up to the shoulder, all the way down, slide your fingers over your hands, your fingers, your palms, and just feel the sensation. Take the arms up now, palms down, bring the hands down to the floor, step it back to down dog. Extend the left leg up and back behind you, and then circle the leg around, extending and bending. Circling forward, using your breath. Good. One more big circle. And then step the foot up between the hands. Slowly rise up. Tuck the tailbone under. And then extend the arms out in front of you. Gliding your fingers along your opposite arm now. Sliding up and down. All sides of the arm, the shoulders, the hands. Just enjoying this beautiful touch. Sensual touch. Good. And then release, take the arms up and exhale, release down, palms down to the floor, step back to down dog. Take a breath here. Extend the right leg up and back behind you now and then bring it forward and down into pigeon pose. Good, extending the back toes out behind you Draw the left hip forward, right hip back. Now coming on to the fingertips here, we're gonna undulate the spine up and down, leading with the chest as you come forward and down and then rolling up, head rolls up last. So moving in a fluid motion here. Good, and then from here, Roll onto your right glute, swing the left leg up and over so that the sole of the foot is on the outside of the right knee. Extend the right arm up and twist across the left side of the body. Seated twist. Grow the spine nice and tall. With each exhale, twist yourself a little bit deeper. Good, release, unwind, back to pigeon and then into down dog. Taking a breath here. Now inhale the left leg up and back behind you. Exhale, sweep it through, release down into pigeon pose, extending the back toes out behind you. Come on to the fingertips. And fluidly roll the spine up 
and down. Or just hold that ecstatic pigeon that's completely up to you. Whatever feels best in this moment. And wherever you're at, make sure that your face is soft and relaxed and that you're breathing deeply. Good. Now sit on to the left bum. Swing the right leg up and over for seated twist. Extend the left arm up and then reach it across and twist using your breath to wrap you around further. On each inhale, extend your spine long, reaching right out through the crown of the head. And with the exhale, twist further. Release, unwind, coming back to pigeon and then into down dog. Walk the feet up to the hands. Sit back onto the bum. And then slowly roll yourself down onto the floor. Draw the knees into the chest and let's circle around a few times, releasing out the low back. Getting that nice massage. Breathing here. Moving in the opposite direction now. Good. Now hold and center. From here, extend the legs straight up and flex and point the feet. Roll them around in circles and at the same time, glide the hands up and down your legs. The back sides, the legs, the front, over the knees, the shins. Enjoying this touch. It's not too often that we take the time to slide our hands over our body and it feels so nice. It's coming to happy baby now, hands on the soles of the feet. And if you like, rock side to side. And getting that nice massage through the back. Stretching into the inner thighs. And then bring the soles of the feet together here. The knees stay out wide. And then release the legs down onto the floor, extending completely for our final pose, Shavasana. Relaxation. Make sure that the feet are splaying out. The palms are facing up and the shoulders are on the back. Let go of any controlled breathing now and allow yourself to completely relax and let go. Becoming heavier and heavier with every breath. Feeling yourself melt down into the floor. You are completely relaxed in your mind and in your body. Allow yourself to rest here and to completely integrate the practice this morning. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes now. Take a deep breath. Take a stretch on the floor. And then roll yourself over to your right side and press yourself into a seated position. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends, for this sensual practice. 
I hope to see you again soon, and I wish you a fantastic day. Lots of love. Bye-bye.